Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Monday, 10th day of October. Here we go. Getting very close to Sukkot, and here's a law that you'll need to know for uh, doing the Tilas Lulav. You know that you take uh, in your hand the four species. We call it the taking of the Lulav, although you're also taking, of course, in your hand the Hadassim, the Aravos, and the Esrog. We call it Lulav because it is most prominent, and when you do take hold of it, the biggest and tallest and most prominent, you are simultaneously holding two of the other species so they ended up calling it the taking of the lulav but it's really the taking of the four species so it's done in the morning each day of sukkahs on the first day of sukkahs it's done with uh, a special extra bracha of shehechayanu and that's because it's the first time that we've done it in the entire year but i want to describe to you the procedure that you do before the regular bracha every single morning you might remember something about the esrog upside down let's explain it when you first take the lulav and the esrog in your hand, we like to always have the bracha said right before the mitzvah is done. That's the rule. First the bracha, then the mitzvah. Uh, try to think of, hmm, it's not a perfect example, but the apple. You make a bracha and then you bite the apple. Okay, you make the bracha and then you do the mitzvah of lulav and esrog. Now, if you were to take the lulav in your hand and the esrog right side up, then presto, the mitzvah's already been done. You took the lulav and esrog in your hand and now you're baking the bracha after, so we don't like that idea. Um, to leave the esrog and the lulav on the table, make the bracha, and then just take them, mm, we don't like that idea either. So we have this one. Um, hold the lulav in your hand, regular, and hold the esrog upside down. Now, when you hold the esrog upside down, you're holding it not the way it grew. Uh, it grows with its pitom sprouting out, out, and up, and up, and up, and up. And you're holding it with the pitom, the little pom-pom thing, not the ukats, not the stem, but the pom-pom thing, or where the pom-pom thing was, um, would have been if your esrog had one. Hope that didn't confuse you. But basically you have the top down. That's not the way the esrog grew. And because that's not the way the esrog grew, so you're not really fulfilling the mitzvah because we hold that you fulfill the mitzvah when you take it in the way that it grows. So if you hold the lulav with the esrog in your other hand, upside down, just the esrog upside down, you haven't fulfilled the mitzvah. Make the bracha right before you do the mitzvah, and right after the bracha, turn the esrog over. Now the mitzvah begins the second that you turn the esrog over. So you've got the perfect blend, bracha, mitzvah. Um, and that's the way we like to do it. That's why we tell you, take the lulav in your hand properly, and then hold the esrog upside down, make the brachas, and right after the bracha, turn it right side up, and then the mitzvah happens. And then we do shake it in the six directions. Maybe we'll get to describe that tomorrow. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.